Hey Divas, welcome back to my channel, The Beauty Main, and today's video is the TMI tag. I was requested to do this tag. I had no idea what it was, so I had to go on YouTube and look it up, and it's basically a list of 50 questions about myself that I have to answer. Now, 50 questions right now seems like a lot, so I'm just going to go ahead and get right into it because I know I have a tendency to ramble on in this video very well, maybe longer than I would like it to be so let's go ahead and jump right into it first question is what are you wearing um i just have on a plain striped tank top that i got from express ever been in love of course <laughs> ever had a terrible breakup hell yeah but you know if i can get serious for a moment um everyone's had a terrible breakup and when you've had your heart broken into a million pieces, you know, it is very devastating emotionally, physically, spiritually. And I think what our main issue is when it comes to a breakup is we think that we need to hurry up and get over them, hurry up and get over them to make this feeling go away, to make this pain go away, you know, for the most part. But truth of the matter is, I don't think that you should rush the healing process and you know don't expect to get over the person in a month in two months in three months in a year you know there's a saying that says however long you've been with that person is take half of that time to get over him or her shall I say so if you've been with someone for seven years they say it's gonna take you three and a half years to get over that person maybe even longer so i think as long as we accept the fact that our heart has been damaged and just to take our time just focus on ourselves it is okay to cry it is okay to talk to people it is okay to be heartbroken like don't try to hurry up and get in a relationship with somebody else or don't try to hurry up and start talking to somebody else to help you get over that person because the truth of the matter is if you really truly love that person you may never get over them but in time your heels will wound i mean the heels will wound lord <laughs> in time your wounds will heal so i think you should just focus on bettering yourself just keeping yourself busy and just accepting the fact that you have a heartache and don't try to rush the process because that's where you're gonna fail at you know i've had my heart broken and you know i've cried and cried and i've tried my damnedest to get over that person and it never happened and so even though you can be in a relationship be in a new relationship with a person you can even be in love with another person and that person who broke your heart will always still have a piece of your heart so that's just called being human you know so don't rush it don't try to get with anybody else just pray and just let time do its work. You're gonna have some pretty bad days, pretty bad months, pretty bad weeks. It's okay, cry, get it out of your system. It's very cleansing and just understand the fact that it's gonna take time. It really truly is going to take time to heal. And as long as you accept that fact, it's gonna be okay. I mean, when I had my heart broken, oh my God, it was just painful. But look at me today, I'm okay. Time did heal my wounds so now that I'm finished being all sentimental and serious with you guys the next question how tall are you I am 5'7 yes pretty tall <laughs> how much do you weigh oh lord that is personal as hell well I weigh 143 pounds there you have it <laughs> any tattoos no I was literally on the verge of getting a tattoo before I had my son and then I didn't do it because I heard that if you have tattoos like you can't can't give blood if your child needs it so that stopped me and not to mention that I have a low tolerance for pain and I, I hate needles Ugh. kudos to you guys who have one any piercings no otp what the hell is otp moving on 
favorite show? Ooh, <laughs> Scandal and Orange is the New Black. And I also love my old school shows like A Different World and um, Girlfriends. Something you miss, good music. What is going on with the music today? It has went from good to WTF. Like, is ignorance the new smart? Like, I, I don't know. Maybe it's just my age talking. I, I just, I don't know. Favorite song. Oh, come on. I am a music addict, so I don't have one favorite song. I like plenty of songs. I am... I love R&B, especially in 80s and 90s R&B. I love my, my old school, can listen to it all day, every day. You know, a lot of people, like, if they're about to go out and go to the club and listen to a whole bunch of rap music to get turned up, like, I can listen to slow songs and get just the turn, get, uh, just, j mm, get just as turned up off of a slow song as I can a, a rap song. But, um, right off the top of my head, Favorite song, uh, as soon as I get home, Faith Evans. How old are you? 31 years old and loving it. 30 is the new 20, dirty 30s. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Zodiac sign. Virgo, all day, every day. Woo, woo. Quality I look for in a partner. Personality. If your personality sucks, if your character sucks, I can't rock with you. I'm sorry. Favorite quote. Hmm. Got quite a few of them, but I have to say mine would be all things happen for a reason because that statement is just so true on so many levels. Everything has a reason. It's either meant for you to learn from it or for you to grow from it. So, yes, yes. Favorite actor? I don't have one. Favorite color? Blue. Loud music or soft? Loud. Duh. Where do you go when you're sad? I really don't go anywhere. If I'm sad, I keep to myself. So I guess I say I'd stay in the house. How long does it take you to shower? Depends on the situation. But for the most part, I mean, I've never timed myself, but I know I don't take short showers at all. I know that. But I know I'm not in the shower until, like, my skin starts to wrinkle and I start to look like a raisin. So, you know, I like to get in the shower, get in, let the water hit me, relax for a little bit, and then, you know, get down to business and clean all my, clean myself. <laughs> How long does it take you to get ready in the morning? That one depends too. Um, just a rough estimate, about an hour, you know, since I gotta do my brows and everything. That's the thing that takes me the longest is my brows and that's what's be making me <laughs> take longer than I, I'm supposed to. Ever been in a physical fight? Yeah, when I was little, a little badass, I guess. Turn on. A man's smile. Um, the way that he dresses and his personality turn off uh, bad hygiene and bad personality the reason you join YouTube I feel like I've always been answering this question <laughs> um, I joined YouTube because I was requested to pretty much in a nutshell people were requesting me to do it so I finally got from beside myself and then I said, all right, let me go ahead and let me do this. Fears, heights and bugs, particularly roaches. Oh my God, those little, ugh, don't get me, ugh. I, ugh, I can't even talk about it. Oh God, ugh, ugh. moving on. Ugh. The last thing that made me cry. I don't remember crying recently. I really haven't had too many reasons to cry for, but I do remember the last time I was sad. And the last time I was sad was when my fiance left to go back to work overseas. So that was the last time that I was sad. Last time you said you loved somebody. 
just today i told my fiance i loved him and i told my son i loved him before i sent him off to school the meaning behind your youtube name um youtube name is beauty main the main comes from my name which is charmaine and then beauty is a uh, duh makeup so beauty main i have no idea how i came up with it it just it just happened last book i read I have no idea. It's been a minute. Wait, I think I've read one of Bobby Brown's makeup books. So, but that was some time ago. On the book you are currently reading, I'm not reading any books right now. Sorry. The last show you watched. Uh, the last show I watched, I hate to say it, but Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. Ugh phone call last person I talked to was my fiance um, relationship between you and the last person you text was my fiance sounds a little cheesy but he's overseas so we talk to each other communicate to each other as much as we can all the time favorite food ooh you mean favorite foods oh I love pulled pork sandwiches I love red beans and rice. I love soul food. I love lemon cake, macaroni and cheese, potato salad, pasta salad. Do I need to go on? Lasagna. <laughs> um, place you want to visit. Anywhere outside of the US. I've never stepped my foot off of the US border so anywhere outside of the US would be great um the last place you were a uh, target shopping <laughs> do I have a crush no my crush forever and ever is my fiance so I'm too old to be crushing <laughs> Last time you kissed someone, September 18th, when my boo left. Last time you were insulted. I don't remember the last time I was insulted, but I do remember the last time someone attempted to insult me and failed miserably. I guess I had some hater on my YouTube video leave a comment on the um, my chit chat about um, how, you know, the YouTube community is just like being being oversaturated this that, and third and the person said something to the extent of I was just jealous because I'm a small channel and I'm not getting any endorsements like you know those who work their ass off like Missy Lynn and Michelle Fawn so I just kindly deleted it and said to myself huh thanks for the comment thanks for the view <laughs> um Favorite flavor of sweet? Uh, I don't know. What was that supposed to mean? Anything sweet. Chocolate? Brownies? Sour Patch Kids? What instruments do you play? None. I can't play. Nothing. Favorite piece of jewelry? Uh, it's not evident in this video, but I love necklaces and bracelets. Last sport I played, I don't play sports. Not athletic last time I probably played a sport was in high school or something like that I don't know the last song I sang um I'm always singing along let's see what I got going on on my Spotify Brandy he is told you always listening to slow songs it's the only chat up line what the hell is that i don't know have you ever used it i can't use nothing that i've never heard of last time you hung out with anyone um i hung out with my sister when she was here when she came to visit so my sister was the last person i hung out with who should answer these questions next um I'm not going to tag anybody in particular, so I'll just tag everybody. Anyone who wants to do this TMI tag, feel free to go ahead and do it. Um, very personal. It was a lot of fun. But, Divas, thanks so much for sticking with me through this uh, 
video and I appreciate that and thank you so much for watching so until the next video divas bye